For about 40 years, these subway cars carried commuters across the boroughs of New York City. Two weeks ago, they could have been on the number seven line, carrying people between uh, Times Square and Flushing, New York. Now, their final stop, the bottom of the Atlantic. New York had to get rid of these old cars. Dumping them near the Chesapeake Light was the cheapest way. Uh, the exact location, if you want to record. Yeah, record. We describe it as a win-win. It's certainly a win for transit. Uh, we're probably saving in the area of 18 to 20 million dollars in disposal costs. But it's also good for Virginia's environment and for local fishermen. Recreational fishing, sport fishing in Virginia is a major, major industry. The VMRC has been sinking these artificial reefs for years. In a few weeks, these cars will be covered with miniature plant and animal life. Once these plants and animals start to tr strike on the surface of the subway cars, that serves to initiate the food web that ends up attracting bait fish. It ends up attracting fish like tautog and sea bass that are somewhat territorial. This artificial reef won't just be popular with fish. Once this water gets warm out here, deep sea divers will be out here too. Before shipping them off, New York MTA workers removed from these cars anything that might snag a diver and cleared everything out that might be unsafe for the environment. Off Virginia Beach, Eric Turner, 13 News.